So here we are, our brand new Cafe Rouge on Villiers Street. It's, this is a new concept they've been working on for about 12 months now. Um, it's gone fantastically well. It looks great. Um, customers seem to love it, which is, which is brilliant. It's what we want. Uh, the workmanship is fantastic, but as you can imagine, there's a story to tell and we haven't got here simply overnight. No, the only the pressure is to get it finished on the time that the client wanted it finished by. Everyone wanted it to be right, obviously, because it was the, the first one of the new style of Cafe Rouge. But that, I suppose that, that creates a bit of pressure. <laughs> at the moment, we're working and concentrating on our uh, Cafe Rouge brand, and we're looking at sort of refreshing that. Uh, and obviously, we've been spending a lot of time and energy thinking about the look of the restaurants, the menu and all of that, but the really important element for me is the people element, is the service. Because obviously when you walk into a restaurant, no matter how fantastic it looks, it's about the greeting that you get, the welcome, uh, how happy you are to be there, and clearly it's the service that makes that happen. Essentially my role in Café Rouge is to introduce a new menu, introduce new staff to good food so they can share the knowledge, share the passion and enjoy themselves. Um, the whole concept behind the idea of refreshing Café Rouge was to bring the soul and the spirit of the bistro back into the forefront of food retailing on British High Street. Originally founded in London over 22 years ago, the Café Rouge story continues with the latest step in its evolution to be found on Villiers Street in London, just off the Strand and right next door to Charing Cross Station. With its bright red frontage, colourful murals, stylish French design and smart new bar area, the new look Café Rouge is the culmination of many months of meticulous planning. So obviously this has been a massive Traegers team effort. We've had everybody from the product development team uh, really looking at the new menu, which we've rolled out across the estate, but really with this new concept in mind. So all those sharing dishes, the petty plats, really fantastically coming through. Um, the training team really done a great job in terms of recruiting those people that are really going to give that great Café Rouge experience. The uh, workmanship is fantastic. All the elements we wanted come together brilliantly. And then we've got the customer communications, the emails we send out, all trying to deliver that fantastic Vive Le Bistro proposition that we've got for our new Café Rouge. Café Rouge, a familiar face on the streets of our towns and cities, is a distinctive restaurant that has always offered excellent food and friendly service in authentic French surroundings. It's a brand name that has become synonymous with French cuisine and hospitality. In the later months of 2010, it was decided that Café Rouge would go through a complete transformation of its brand and position. This would keep the Café Rouge name at the forefront of high street restaurants, whilst retaining the true core foundations that have served it well over previous years. It wasn't long before an exceptional property became available in the heart of the capital. This was to become the epicentre of a whole raft of changes that would carry the Café Rouge name on to the next chapter of its proud and successful history. Marketing director Jemima Bird explains, at the start of the development, how the new Café Rouge concept and design would emerge from beneath the rubble. So, here we are, um, Café Rouge uh, The Strand. Um, our new bistro concept that we've been developing. It's, it's you know it's exciting for us. You know, we, Cafe Rouge is a brand. It's 22 years old. Um, this is the first sort of big major step into um, a new look and feel for us. 
and, and there's loads about Café Rouge we still love. Everything, you know, we love the quirkiness, we love the fact that it's a great all-day dining restaurant, that you can come in, you can drop in for different types of occasions. All of that we're retaining. So this isn't throw the baby out with the bathwater. This is take the best of what we've done well for over 20 years and then just polish it with a new look. Try and create a, a sense of a 21st century version of what 1920s, 1930s Paris is all about, as opposed to perhaps what we had before, which was you know, last century's version. People have moved on, uh, the environment's moved on, and what we want to do is get people feeling comfortable that this is a place they can, they can go and dine with. It's also important we appeal to a new audience. Um, we've got a lot of people in, our, in, in sort of late 30s and 40s that have grown up with the Café Rouge brand. What we now want to do is get those younger 30-somethings to, uh, to appraise us and come and give us a go and say, actually, no, that's a place I can go and meet friends on a Friday night for lunch on a Saturday, uh, and, and it's a place for me. And, that, and that's all about, this new look is all about saying, you know, hello, welcome, come and give us a go. Long before this huge transformation began, the design process was paramount. Many weeks of meticulous behind-the-scenes planning was spent reshaping this new Café Rouge concept, and every tiny detail was examined to capture the mood and feel of this updated restaurant brand. We were approached by Café Rouge as a global brand consultancy with a deep understanding of what's happening in the marketplace and how consumers uh, relate to what's happening in that marketplace. The approach to redesigning um, Café Rouge, or actually refreshing it in this instance, uh, was to keep its intrinsic qualities, its whimsical, quirky and eclectic nature. The whole principle and philosophy is that when we look at a Café Rouge site, we look at the neighbourhood, we look at the type of people that go there, and we look at how we can use the architecture that's there to its best advantage. The Bistro is, is about a great place for all sorts of different people to meet at different times. It's about accessibility, it's about the buzz, the fun and the noise. It's not just about one big dining hall with a few pieces in. It's about nooks and crannies and dark corners where people can congregate and just talk to each other, talk to strangers. They can do, they can have, they can do anything they want in that space. It's about their moment of magic, a little moment in time when they can celebrate uh, the, the whole environment. And how we've planned this restaurant is really very much to try and create areas that people want to go, so individual destination points. So is it I've come in for a romantic meal for two, or is I've come in for a, um, a drink at the bar and maybe just have a couple of bar snacks that hopefully will turn on to a, a full evening meal later? Or is it I've come in with a group of friends and I want to go through to that good-looking room out the back where we've got that wonderful mural that's really going to be a destination area and, and, and a point where people want to meet their friends? In order to understand how many different types of occasions and architectural spaces they were, we created a series of signature items. Everything from the approach to the exterior, what you saw inside, whether it was a dining hall, a bar area, a breakfast area, a nook and cranny. What we did was created a series of components, but more than enough for one site. This enabled us then to go and look at different sites and decide which bits fitted in for the neighbourhood and the soul feel. Villiers Street was a perfect example. It was a run-down classic Victorian building. It had lots of funny little spaces that lots of contractors would have just blocked up. They would have covered them over and they would have squared them off. So we looked at this space as a perfect opportunity to put in the signature items that actually breathe life into every corner of the new refreshed Café Rouge. And so, with an opening date in mind, a huge team of craftsmen moved into Villiers Street and were given just 12 weeks to turn around something that resembled a bomb site into what was to become the flagship restaurant of the new Café Rouge brand. At first, there was a lot of work to do, and it was, uh, it'd been a couple of pubs over the last few years, and with pubs, they tend to only take out bare minimum and add things, they don't strip things right out, so they leave dead stuff in. So there was a lot of stripping out. Took a couple of weeks to strip out in the beginning. You have electricians and, and uh, AC guys and uh, plumbers. You have all your general contractors, plasters, decorators, carpenters. There's a lot of carpentry in this one compared to normal Cafe Rouge. At the 
heart of the Café Rouge success story, of course, is the menu. Its French cuisine has proved enormously popular with the loyal Café Rouge customer base. So to create a new menu to match the updated surroundings, whilst taking it forward into a new and exciting era, once again the Café Rouge rebrand required serious planning and full attention to detail. I've been in development since last November and was lucky enough to have the opportunity to redevelop the Café Rouge menu to bring it back up to scratch in a more contemporary feel with more French classic foods with a modern twist. We launched the menu in April with the anticipation to opening our new branded Café Rouge restaurant over to the Strand later on this year. If you like Café Rouge as it is, don't be scared about what we're doing to Café Rouge. You'll come in, you'll still recognise Café Rouge as a restaurant you're familiar with and like and like the food meeting in. The ambience, the environment will still be there. We're trying to be a bit more friendly, a bit more passionate about what we do and that's going to be conveyed to the customers with the food we're producing, the knowledge that our waiters will now have to talk to you about the food, the type of wines we can serve with the food, the matches, and really if you want to come in and say I like a particular type of food, the waiters will be able to guide you through the restaurant, through the menu, to hopefully find something that's suitable to you to try or maybe try for the first time, so that with the trust and passion we're instilling on our customers, they'll come back again, try new food and get a better experience with French food that they may not have been too familiar with, beforehand. Like any successful organisation, the character of Café Rouge personnel has always been a key to the growth and reputation of the brand. Dedicated in-house training of every team member plays a major role whatever new changes and concepts are introduced. So one of the key things we're focusing on at the moment is what we call Service Plus. So it's just that little bit extra, that plus that you were expecting. So when customers walk into our restaurants, we should be really delivering a fantastic plus experience. How do you recognise plus? Well, that's going to be that extra bit of smiling, maybe a joke, a bit of humour. And certainly what we're looking for is some extra knowledge from our team making you feel at ease, uh, offering you some of our fantastic food and drink products. So what are we going to be doing differently this time? Well, this time we've really understood that with our service, it's all about getting the management team involved. Because after all, it's them that lead the difference. They're the ones who lead the ship, captains of the ship, if you like. So we've got our managers heavily involved with delivering the training with us. Okay, you as you can see, it's pretty colourful, the training that we're giving. So we're talking to people not just about the basics, mechanics of service, but we're also talking a lot about the mindset. So things like having fun while you're working, it makes the shift go faster and the customers and certainly appreciate it. As you all know, today is a really special day for us with our opening of our new restaurant, The Strand. And we are so a sense of fun, uh, a sense of the team growing and getting to know each other are all really important to so delivering just that little bit of extra, that little bit of plus that we're looking for in Café Rouge. Yeah, the training we're doing is really unique to Café Rouge because it's designed alongside our operations team. So the people that run the restaurants, our area managers, our management teams have been heavily involved with developing this training programme. So they're really sort of embedded from the start and that's what makes it work so well in the long term. Because obviously we're not looking for a short term result, we're looking for a long term difference in service so the customer really notices it. So one of the reasons for the fun session today is to create that fun atmosphere among the team and the managers and get them to really enjoy themselves because when they're enjoying themselves we find the customers enjoy themselves as well. So because we've designed the restaurant in these individual modular parts, it allows us to take the best of those parts and apply it to all of our existing sites. So it's not everything in all sites all, all of the time, it's the best of that's right for that site. I think that's what's exciting about the new design we've created. So it may be that a bar is absolutely the right thing and so we'll put that, that signature element, that bar in, will go into a site. Or it may be that we need to really create that cosy corner area so the mural will play an important and prominent part within that restaurant. We can choose the relevant parts for the relevant restaurant.
The building is composed of lots of different segments that have been butchered over the years and then have been filled in. What was fantastic about delivering this site is we stripped the building right back to the stone so we could find where the best places were for visibility sight lines, where the nooks and crannies were, where the impact was, so visually when you come in, what do you want to see? The idea of seeing the bar, the breakfast area, the dining hall, the wine bar, a view into the nook and cranny at the back cosy corner, these are all elements that work perfectly for this trial. There's even things like leaded glass windows which people normally cover over and double glaze, we're making them into a library room. A really important part of this entire proposition has been talking to customers and we've been speaking to both our current customers because it's important that we really retain a Café Rouge that they still love and want to come to. We've also been speaking to LAPS customers, that those people who used to come to us maybe 10, 15 years ago that for whatever reason just haven't, haven't come to us in, the, in recent years. But also speaking to customers who have never been into a Café Rouge to say, what is it that you're looking for? And what that's allowed us to do is to develop a brand new menu for Café Rouge and the product team have done an amazing job in taking all of that insight and developing a new look to the Café Rouge menu. So approximately about 60% of the menu has changed. But it's also about giving everything a bit of a modern twist so people don't feel that French food is stayed and it's a bit fattening for you and it's a bit heavy. Actually, they can come into Café Rouge and get a lighter version of it that feels very 2011, it feels 2012, it should hopefully feel 2020 when we get there. So it's all about refreshing that menu. Um, and what we want people to do is come into the restaurants and think, you know, if I want steak baguette or I want a steak frit and a glass of Beaujolais on a Wednesday night, they should be thinking Café Rouge and that's what the menu's all been designed to drive. Uh, Café Rouge is all about good quality food, value for money prices and authentic, tasty, modern twists. We're here to produce a good menu, employ staff that are keen and passionate about what they do and even if they're not, they want to have a knowledge and an enthusiasm so my job is to train them to understand food and be passionate and knowledgeable about what they're doing and really enjoy themselves when they're here. That's all I'm asking and that's all we want from people. Okay, so this is a fairly typical dish that we introduce to the Rouge menu. It's one of the tartines, the Moroccan tartine with the spicy lamb sausage. We'll start by slicing the sausage into about eight or nine pieces so it cooks nice and quickly. We're going to be frying this in a pan, finishing it with caramelised onions, a little bit of chopped parsley. And it's going to be served on a toasted sourdough bread slice. It's been char grilled with a bit of extra flavour to make it a little bit crispy. So we're going to cook these sausages in the pan <coughs> with a little bit of oil. So they get nice and crispy and crunchy and only take two or three minutes to cook. Two or three minutes just to crisp up, caramelise and get a nice flavour. We're going to slice a little bit of chicory which is going to go on the bottom of our sourdough bread. And we're just going to slice those into little inch slices, give a little mixture. Going back, they've been cooking about a minute and already they're half cooked. We're going to add caramelised onions. Those go in like that. A little bit of chopped parsley. Mix that around. We'll take one of our pieces of bread. We're going to spread that with hummus, which again is a North African spread. One of these, the hummus is available on the uh, Pity Plat section, so people can try that if they've not tried it before. On top of that, we have our shaved chicory. And simply to finish that, we put our sautéed maguez sausage with caramelised onions and parsley on the top. So a simple open sandwich, Moroccan flavoured but with a French element and twist to it. And just to complete the dish and get all those ingredients working well together, we take a little bit of creme fraiche, some fresh mint, we're just going to slice up finely, add that in with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. A little mix round and that goes in a small tub just on the side of the dish for someone to pour if and when they want it all over their tartine. So there we have it, the Moroccan tartine, sourdough bread, shaved chicory, sauteed maguez sausage with caramelised onions and a minted creme fraiche to complement the whole dish. Hi.
So there we have it. Nothing less than a small army of people have been involved in the transformation of one of the country's favourite high street restaurant names. The right property in the right location, the design, the menu, the staff and the training have all come together to create an all-new Café Rouge. And as for the completion deadline, well, as with any redevelopment carried out on this scale, the building work usually goes right to the wire. Our two or three weeks was very intense. Power tools like constantly non-stop. At the end of the day, after, I don't know, 11 or 12 weeks, seems like a long time, but it's turned out very well after a lot of hard work by everyone, and uh, I think it'll do very well. I think it's a lot better than the old Cafe Rouge. This, this new concept is more appealing to a wide range of people. Yeah, I think it's nice. So some of the things we picked up from the inside were customers, they really like the quirky elements of Café Rouge, but perhaps it wasn't coming through as much as we really wanted it to. And if you think about it, the brand's 20 years old, and so we wanted to give it a 21st century uh, refresh and a new look. So some of the elements we picked out to really demystify France and get customers back over the door were really owning red as a colour. So Café Rouge, we should own the colour red, so we've got lots of red, whether it's the window frames, the walls, uh, the decor, the, the new fantastic leather banquettes, the great um, new canopies we've got outside, all of that with red at the base. So we're really owning that colour. We wanted to bring that eclectic artwork we've got all around the walls, all those fantastic pictures and Lucy drawings into one area. So we've got a great picture wall. That looks fantastic. I think that the piece that I love the most about the restaurant is the brilliant mural we've had designed, which is depicting a day in the life of Café Rouge which really drives about all the different elements, whether it's a romantic dinner for two, a, a, a group of friends at the bar for, for an evening after work drink, or, or families coming out and celebrating, and all of that's in the mural. And I think we've picked up those things fantastically well, and we're excited about how this is gonna work here, and how we can roll it out across the rest of the estate. Welcome to the next generation, Café Rouge. Vive le Bistro!